Hi, welcome to interview.com. This video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. We will do the needful to find out the right job. One of the important Ibernate interview question: What is Ibernate query language? How do you map Java objects with database tables? First one is Ibernate query language. Ibernate offers a query language that embodies a very powerful and flexible mechanism to query, to store, to update and retrieve objects from database. This language, Ibernate query language is an object oriented extension to SQL. So you don't have to you don't have to uh, make select and all. Select the traditional queries you don't have to do. Just say using this Ibernate query language you will deal with the you will deal with objects, Java objects, not the exact queries. Okay. You will not even realize the tables okay you will you will deal with java objects not the exact query okay so how do you map java objects with database tables very very important ibernate interview question first we need to write java domain objects beans with setter and getter okay write hpm xml file where we map java class to table and database columns to to java class variables for example this is the java class com test user okay user is a java class and you want to create a table called user and it has two columns called username and user password column is username length is 255 then the name is username it's not null the the data type of the the that column is java lang dot string user password again 255 user password not null it's not a null it should not be a null and the ty data type is string so in this way you are telling to hibernate boss create a table using this information and this is the exact java class so i am worry i only worry about the user class java class i don't want to even worry about these tables you take care of it so you take care of hibernate you take care of these tables whenever I ask for user just give me I will give you the ID of the user you have to load the complete Java objects using getter and setter that's where the setter comes into picture if you don't have a setter hibernate cannot load your Java objects so what exactly happens is whenever you ask the hibernate can you load user with identifier ident username uh, interview dot okay or John Lee user John Lee what it does is it executes a query and after getting the record it calls a setter and creates an object and gets a sets calls a setter set all the values and gives you the objects so it's ready made okay so this is hibernate mapping thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview this video is from interview.com a job portal in India thank you